all right so welcome back to another video of the target individual program target individual experience so i'm about to go outside to get some ginger tea for uh, pam okay why am i getting a voicemail from my sister that's kind of weird anyhow um and it didn't i just had my phone upstairs all this time uh, excuse me all right okay so um like i said i've been upstairs have not seen any notification about a voice now as soon as I started filming. All right? So let me look, look, look. So yeah, let me tell you guys what happened. So all of a sudden they want me to go outside. All right? <laughs> so this is what they'll do. Uh they talk about hacking to the uh minds of kids. Yeah, so all of a sudden I started my my kid, my daughter kept getting the back and forth, start running back and forth, back and forth, coming back with all these certain things, right? Uh, you know, and I had to tell her, I said, calm down. So I know usually when she gets like that, all right, and particularly when Stan, Pam starts acting a certain way, that again, we're being microwave. So all of a sudden now she's, she wants ginger tea. So I'm like, oh, well, then you have other tea day. No, I'm not feeling too well. Uh, I'm not feeling too well and stuff like that. So I was like, you know what? I'm not going outside right now. Really, because I'm watching a movie. Seriously, you know? So then she's like, uh, you know, uh, I feel really, really sick. I'm just like, when, when do you not feel sick? And again, every time you go out, this is what happens. Every time you go out, you, got, you go on some date, what have you. You come back, you're sick. Right? A day or two later, you're sick. But you just don't get it. You just don't see your pattern and how negative your patterns are right and that's the the thing here with, with us as black people is that we've been conditioned into dysfunctional lifestyle right and it's it's a pattern that has been conditioned into us a dysfunctional pattern and we act on it and we believe i wouldn't even say we think but we believe right in our dysfunction and we act in our dysfunction we think dysfunctionally, right? And when we start to course correct, let's say those of us who start to course correct, right? They see the white supremacists, the religious fanatics, right? The uh, so-called Christians, right? Negro European Christians, okay? When you start to course correct, meaning when you start to learn the truth, about their about their religion about how us as a people are conditioned a certain way okay they will attack you it is a built-in programming that is built into their subconscious that when those of us know the truth and understand the truth and start to uh research and awaken other people as to the truth they will attack you, okay? It's kind of like the Matrix, right? The Matrix when <laughs> you have these agents, right? So think of the agents as your subconscious, if you're a religious Negropean, or if you're a religious, anybody that's religious, and anybody, and you've been heavily indoctrinated since young, this programming, okay? Again, you don't recognize it, you don't uh, realize what's going on, Okay, you got a perp stand on the corner. Okay, they got them. You hear the police siren? Yeah, you gotta show the perps. And one thing they do now is that it used to be people with beard. Now they, they shave off their beard or their mustache, I guess. I guess they want me to shave off my beard and my mustache. Not gonna happen. Okay, now unless I want to. So, anyhow, as I was saying, so when you learn the truth and they see that you learn the truth and they see that you're moving away from the bs uh christian belief system they'll attack you they'll literally attack you because that's how they've been conditioned that's how they've been programmed so they will attack you because again uh as human beings i should say not to say every human being but again, one of the best examples I can show you guys, I'll tell you guys about 
go and look at uh, Darren Brown, right? And that Darren Brown, his he has a show on YouTube, and the show is called uh, the Darren Brown Experiment or Experience, something like that. And look at the the video called Game Show, right? And again, these are social experiment done on people, right? And the truth is, as human beings, particularly in Western society, that the vast majority of human beings, and in particular, the vast majority of women, right, get joy, I get pleasure out of destroying other people's lives. So again, I always, uh, when I first saw that, uh, that video, I said, oh, yes, okay. You know, when you understand human nature, particularly in Western society, particularly with religious people, right? If they know that you are not religious, don't believe in their religion, they will literally poison you. Okay? And I have talked about how, uh, you know, I had a friend of mine. He's a Jehovah Witness. And he basically told me, he says, Stay away from religious people because they will try to kill you if you don't believe what you, what you, that, in what they believe. And it's true. He said that they will poison you because you don't believe in their BS religion. Because you understand the truth and they don't. So it's that subconscious programming that's built into the subconscious that will attack anybody who know the truth. Because they love the lie and they believe in the lie so much and so well that, uh, you know, they will attack you. So... Like today, like I said, I come outside because Pam says she uh, was uh, feeling well, which is a lie. You know, they do this because, again, they want to see if, if I'm going to go and get what she wants, right? Because, again, they use her to target me. So it's like, oh, look, he's still going. He's not hating her or this and that. First of all, I don't hate her, okay? I try to wake her up from the conditioning, from her programming. Yeah. All right, and see, again, it's all stage. They all, again, this is the use of the technology and how they use it, excuse me. And, uh, you know, to, to do these tests, this is all a series of tests that they put you through, right? So I'm here looking for ginger tea. So let's get that. Again, exposing the thing is what you gotta do. That's what we gotta do, expose them in every aspect, in every way. Uh, uh, where's your ginger tea? Huh? Ginger tea. Uh, oh, right there. All right, thank you. Okay, yes. All right. And again, Ooh. this is what we got to do, man. Expose them in every single way. Make sure that anybody to do this to in the future is going to be well versed in how to fight back. And also how to attack them, be on the offensive as well as be on the defenses. Thank you. Yeah. So, got the dude standing there, it's a little more fast looking down at my shoes. <laughs> Again, uh, yeah. Uh, so I want you to understand how they mask it. She's holding her son's hand, all right? Her son is five years old. She's talking and as soon as I come out of there, she lets go of her son's hand, start doing hand signals, all right? And then they're constantly looking down at my shoes. Yeah, it's gray, black, blue, with a kind of a lime color on the side. Yeah. So anyhow, uh, so the reason, again, why Pam is acting the way she's acting, again, is, you know, they're sending her this signal or whatever. Uh, or they didn't send her the signal because she was actually watching the movie. She was in the kitchen. So they might have been standing up, uh, you know, not standing up, I'm sorry. They might have uh, texted her or what have you. All of a sudden, she's not feeling well. And I'm just like, okay, so if I wasn't here, what would happen? Right? So again, she's like, oh, I just realized there's no ginger tea. You know there's no damn ginger tea. You know that. You just want to send me to the store. Or they got her to manipulate her into sending me to the store. 
so they can engage in their psyops and i'm like okay fine i'm like you know what like i said let's see what they're going to do let, let's see let me let me get this opportunity use this opportunity to, again to expose them in in what it is that they're doing right so okay i'm like all right because i keep telling you guys you keep doing it keep keep on engaging in the psyops and i am going to expose every single thing that y'all do every single way doesn't matter how big or small so let's go right so again now uh what they try to do again is cause this animosity and they go nypd look making the u-turn let me let me go over there i got a white girl now look, look, look at the white girl see see look at the white girl nypd uh, 4351 that's their number okay yeah <laughs> so yeah uh gosh i love it i love it okay good there they're turning they're right there okay so yeah I, I want you to show you guys how they try to intimidate and manipulate uh, of course they turn on pants block and then they had this dude across i'm gonna go across the street right i want to I'm gonna go across the street so you can see. Now, this guy. Right here. Look, standing up there. You know, why is he standing? He came out of the store, right? So those NYPD roll and turn on there, turn on here. He sticks his finger in his ear. So this is, I wanna get a picture of his face so you guys can see. Look where he turned it Yes, thank you. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. All right. See now, they feel emboldened because the NYPD roll by. All of a sudden, now they stand there. I tell you, there's a reason why she wanted me to go outside, right? Okay. And I talk about how the police would give her signals, particularly when, when I'm in the house, right? Giving her signals where I get in there first, and you know she's all right. You know she's she's not uh, being argumentative. She's not snapping at me. And then they'll use the police sirens, right? And then, so then they start to, uh, then she, yeah, sniff your own ass. <laughs> she walking by me going. So, yeah. Uh, so, when they use the police sirens, okay? When they use the police sirens, they will, look, 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 we're in the yellow hoodie. Look, start look at his hands. Sees me now. Now he's gonna start walking up this way. Look. Watch. <laughs> Again, call them out. Exactly what it is that they're doing. All right. Now watch what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna open up my jacket. All right. Again. Yeah. Of course. You know, they try to mask it with the walking of the dog. Yeah, right. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. So, yeah. You gotta be able to expose all of them. Oh, he was waiting for me, I guess, to get into the, come into the building, right? That's what they do, the surveillance. Yeah, yeah. Anyhow. Anyhow. Oh, Monday. Alright. Alright. Again. Yeah. Showing you guys exactly what they do. See last night is red, tonight is yellow. Right? So now we shall see when I leave here what they're gonna do next. <laughs> 